Alexis, congrats on your win. Thank hey, you, Errol Spence is happy. He said you put him on the dirt. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah. he, he was talking a lot, man. He yeah. called out a lot of people. Uh, he talked to talk, but he didn't back it up, man. Uh, yeah. Errol Spence is happy that you did, you did what you did tonight, you know? I appreciate that, man. You know, I had to do what I had to do. Yeah. And that's the win. Maybe you could ask him for a fight now. Errol, Errol Spence, I got to work my way up there, man. He's putting in so much hard work. I'm barely working my way up. Much respect to suspense. That's humble, man. That's yeah. humble. Um, you, man. When, you have, when you have a fighter that runs like, uh, yeah. like you were playing with um, what's the tactic to come back? I mean, really, just cut the ring off. You know, let your hands go when you get them in corners and small edges like that. But it was more my fault not putting them off too much. And uh, I was kind of chasing them at times. And that was my fault, like I said. Did, did he motivate you a little bit more because of everything you said? Everyone, like I said, Spence is acknowledging your work yeah. today. And everyone wanted to kind of see that, man. You gave them what they wanted to see, you know? <laughs> I mean, it comes to the territory, you know? He, he comes, he runs his mouth. He did what he had to do to sell the fight. End of the day, it's all love. Nothing personal, at least for me, it's not personal. But uh, I had fun doing the whole thing, you know. I was talking, I was talking smack in the press conference. You guys never seen me talk smack before, mm -hmm. and honestly, I had fun doing that. Yeah, but but it's fair game. It comes with the territory. Um, yeah. Props to him. He still gets in the ring. He puts his himself on exactly. the line. And, um, just, exactly. Like I said, I respect any fighter that goes in that ring because we put our hearts in the line. You know, we get beat up, we get cut up, we get hit in the head. You know, I heard. My prayers go out to him. I heard he went to the hospital. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, my prayers go out to him. Like I said, I, I, every time I go in there, I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but I go to my corner. I always pray. First thing I pray is, please, God, you know, protect me and my opponent inside and outside this ring. Make, make us come home in one piece. Yeah. And uh, that's what I always pray. Yeah. Um, what's, what's, what's next for you, man? Um, obviously, Reggie Ortiz is the biggest option for you. Yeah. But uh, McKenzie's right there trying to Oscar man something about the winner possibly fighting him. Yeah. But I mean, Reggie's obviously the big. You knock him off and you're the top down in Golden Boy promotion. You know, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, whatever like my, my promoter has to do, you know, if it's Virgil, you know, I know Virgil very well, you know, he's trying, he's trying to catch his world title, I'm trying to capture my world title, and you know, in the future, let's make it happen. But uh, McKenzie's definitely another opponent, he's very good, very, very good guy, respect him in and outside the ring, he's very awkward, very challenging. You know, who knows? Maybe down the line. How awkward is Cobbs in the ring? We saw right from the beginning yeah. he came at you, and it, it appeared that, that you guys. Were... Yeah, I knew he was gonna come at me, but then I knew he was gonna run around once he felt my power, and that's what happened. But I, like I said, it was my fault that I was kind of chasing him, throwing one shot at a time, and uh, I should have put my punches. I put. I should have put my punch my combinations, sorry, together more. And the eye, what, what do you guys say about the eye? How's the eye had during the, the fight? My eye, oh my, my eyes don't bother me. If I get, if I get cut, if I get something, you know, it's not. It's not an issue, you know, I gotta keep fighting, I'm a fighter. When do you wanna, how fast do you wanna get back in there? The sooner the better, I wanna stay active, you know, a lot of, a lot of fighters that are young tend to take breaks. I don't wanna take breaks, I wanna fight four, three more times this year, if not four. Do you think this is the beginning of your best, of the best part of your career? The, the, I believe the so, yeah. yeah, once I lost to Rashidi, I felt like I had to pick myself back up, not because I had to put that pressure on myself, but I knew I was gonna get my, pick myself back up. Because the mentality I carried after the fight was, was, was pretty good, you know. Mm -hmm. I picked myself back up. To any young fighter who gets a, suffers a first defeat, you know, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and get back to it. So, um, Rashidi's out there, man. He's still, I think he might still be with Golden Boys. I know he has some kind of. He's emotion. not with Golden Boys. Okay, so. Yeah, he's not with Golden Boys. That's Boy, not an option for, to revenge that loss, right? I mean, it is. I was, anyone wants to avenge their first loss, but, you know, later than the line, let's make it happen. What do you want to improve on? What, what can you improve on? Or does that matter uh, with the opponent that you're going to face? What you choose to improve on for that next time? I mean, you got to be an all around better fighter. I feel like with my speed, a lot of people are going to want to outbox me. That's what up there was trying to do. He was trying to pitter pat, he was trying to score his punches and move. I need to work on better, you know, um, do, not being so flat-footed, you know, giving those angles, you know, cutting the ring off, throwing my combinations better. Yeah. You mentioned, uh, your team mentioned it, and you agreed that in six rounds you're going to put him down. I think it was in the fifth that fifth, you put I heard him. He, he, he almost had him in the, in the fifth and the sixth, and yeah. just, is that how you envision things to go tonight? Yeah, I knew, I knew I was going to hurt him, but like I said, it was more my fault. I was, uh, I was headhunting, I wasn't loading up to the body too much. And I should have invested in the body even sooner, and I should have let in my hands go sooner. Thank you, Roger. Appreciate it. Your guy did, did his thing? Huh? He did his thing? No, what's up? <laughs> excuse me, guys. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, sorry. Hey. He told me six rounds in the fifth. He heard him. He always, he always, I know. I know you were looking for yeah, me. Yeah, I, I you know why I was off by two or yeah. three. Yeah, uh, call, call the training real quick. Let me. Oh, let's go over there. Let's go talk yeah. to the training. Coach. Coach. Yes, sir. You guys said in six rounds. He heard him in the fifth. And the. Yeah. He, 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 it took a little bit longer. Yeah. Blair, I think 
that show he puts on, I think it's good for boxing. Um, He's got to be able to back it up, though. You have to, and I don't think he has the skills to back it up. I think there's a lot of insecurities with the young man. You can just see it, and a lot of people think he's weird. I think he, he knows how to play the, the villain's hat. He mm -hmm. sells the fight, but I didn't think he was at the same level as Alexis. Mm -hmm. um, but props to him for getting in the ring. You know, the, Absolutely. anyone who steps into anybody, the ring. But, anybody. I don't yeah. care if you're all in 90 or 90 and 0. It takes a lot of balls yeah. to do what these guys do. Errol Spence was happy that um, Rocha <laughs> did his thing, you know, because he had a few yes, uh, things yes, to say yes, about Errol Spence. Errol Spence was like, he put him in the dirt. He was happy when you know, Rocha did his thing. He was very happy. He was I pulling from him. He was a great fighter. Yeah. I mean, one of the best pound yeah. for pound. So. Yeah. So um, what's next for um, Alexis, man? Um, obviously, the, the biggest option for him is Virgil Ortiz. I know I know yeah. the camps are friends or whatever. You guys know each other well. But um, what, Look, what business is, is business. I don't mm -hmm. know. First, you know, you got to wish, you got to hope Virgil gets better. Mm -hmm. um, sure. Obviously, this is something scary that he went through. It's still too early to see what's going to happen to Virgil if he's going to stay at 47 or 54. Lex is still comfortable at 47. So I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. they're talking about McKinson. They're talking about Connor Ben. Like I said, it, it, at this point, now that he's in the... <laughs> he's no longer prospect. He's a contender. It doesn't really matter at that point. I think mm -hmm. we have to be willing to take some chances. We're getting closer to that title. You know, the elusive title he wants. It's a stacked division. Don't get me wrong. We have to get better. Mm -hmm. For sure. Okay, last words for the fans, man. Uh, Santa Ana showed up and supported... Uh, pre pre pretty good for a white Mexican. <laughs> like, 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 like uh, Blair said, you know, I, I know he didn't mean it like yeah, that, but yeah. I, I didn't hear a lot of Jalisco fans yeah, cheering for yeah. them tonight. <laughs> Santa Ana, obviously, it's our home, Orange County. We, we love to represent Orange County is where we come from, and, and it's great uh, to There's see the support. I think they need somebody. They need a role model, whether it's him, whether it's Ronnie. Uh, great fans, great fight fans, and, uh, I mean, you heard him out there. It was yeah. great. It was great. Congrats on the win. I appreciate that, man.